you're a college football fan, you 100% know about the player in today's video. But if you're a casual NFL fan or someone who doesn't really watch the sport of college football, then you may not know who the subject of today's video is. He's one of the most prolific players in the last five to six years of college football, has incredible stats, and won a lot of games, but unfortunately, he's never really been seen as an NFL guy. I made a video a couple months ago about how his career was likely over, but now there is some traction that this guy could become an impact player in the NFL. There are multiple teams that have been meeting with him and multiple franchises that think this guy has a high ceiling. In today's video, I want to discuss who this player is, why NFL teams want him, and why he could be the best kept secret of the 2022 quarterback class. So without further ado, let's get started. So you're probably wondering who the subject of today's video is, and some of you probably know it, but it's Derek King from Miami. Going back in time, he was from Manville, Texas, which is one of the most prolific high schools in the area. As a fun fact, his backup in high school was none other than Kyle Trask, who went on to play for Florida and became a second round pick to the Buccaneers. King, on the other hand, was a superstar. He could both pass and run the ball, and because of that, he had a lot of big time offers. He initially committed to TCU, but then later backed off his commitment and chose to go play for Tom Herman at Houston. While he was a wide receiver when he came in, he eventually became the quarterback and led them to a lot of wins. As the full-fledged starter in 2018, he threw for over he threw for nearly 3,000 yards with 36 touchdowns and only six picks, and he also had 674 yards rushing and 14 touchdowns on the ground. Going into 2019, they would find a new head coach as they'd bring in Dana Holgerson from West Virginia. This created some controversy as after only four games, he decided to redshirt. He would later enter his name into the 2020 transfer portal, and schools from all over the country wanted his talents. Many thought he would originally go to Oklahoma, but he eventually settled on playing for Miami. They were now under second year head coach Manny Diaz, and King was truly the king of Miami for a little while and was seen as a Heisman contender. In 2020, he threw for 2,686 yards with 23 touchdowns and 5 picks, with 538 yards rushing and 4 scores on the ground. He had a great first couple weeks, but in the Clemson game, he got humbled and he wasn't the same the rest of the year. After a solid finish to the 2020 campaign, King would tear his ACL in the cheese it Bowl against Oklahoma State, but he would come back in time for the 2021 season. There was some hype of either Jake Garcia or Van Dyke starting at quarterback, but King ended up starting week one, but he'd end up getting injured a couple weeks into the 2021 season, and many thought his career was done. He's a super smart businessman off the field, but it looks like King has not given up on football. In total, he has nearly 10,000 all-purpose yards in his six-year college career, and at five foot nine, King honestly looks like he could be a slot receiver. A couple weeks ago, there were some reports that a couple teams wanted to work him out as a slot receiver, but more recently, we have seen that he could have a unique role. According to On3 Sports, a couple of owners have talked to King about being both a slot receiver and a situational quarterback. It means he'll obviously be a wide receiver, but in the red zone, he could be a quarterback and someone that really makes it interesting for the defenses. We've seen guys like Braxton Miller and Terrell Pryor change positions, but King may be able to do this. Well, he more than likely won't be a franchise quarterback because his stats, his arm, and his size aren't ideal for the NFL. If he could find a way to become a good receiver, but also get an opportunity to play quarterback, I think that'd be great for him and we could see his stock rise. Right now, I would say he'll be a day three selection, but if these workouts and these meetings go well, maybe he could crawl into a day two pick and someone who makes a serious impact in the NFL. It reminds me a lot of Greg Ward Jr., who was the quarterback before him at Houston, who switched to receiver and has started multiple years for the Eagles. What do you guys think though? If you're a Miami fan, what do you think of Derek King's NFL future? What do you guys think of his NFL future? And who's another player I could take a look at in my next video? Be sure to let me know down below. Smash that like button if you want to support today's video. Subscribe if you're new and check out all my other videos on the end screen. I hope to see you guys again soon, but until next time, peace.